This chapter looks into some of the do's and don'ts of cabling. You'll remember the short data cables we used in our earlier examples. Imagine you have six strobe lights divided into two groups. The two groups are separated by a large distance. We start by running a cable from the controller to the left-hand group. Fine. Trouble is, we might need a very long cable to cover the distance to the right-hand group. Is there an easier way? The answer is yes. Imagine if we could divide the data into two identical streams. Well, we can, with the help of an additional device called an opto-splitter, or a DMX splitter. Some even refer to it as the RS-485 splitter. What the opto-splitter is able to do is split or divide the stream of DMX data into five identical streams. You may be tempted to use one of these. Well, don't. If you do use one, you're just asking for trouble. It's one of those things that can safely be filed under seemed like a good idea at the time. Let's take a look at the opto splitter in a larger setup. We begin by running a cable from our controller to the opto splitter. From the five identical out ports, we cable our setup as shown here. Although you can keep on adding devices to your link, you shouldn't connect more than 32 devices to a single link. Always terminate the link with a terminator plug in the out port socket of the last fixture on the link. Remember, each of the branches must be terminated by the terminator plug. The terminator plug soaks up the control signal so it can't reflect back down the link. Now we're ready to send a signal. Watch what happens. Of course, in real life, this process happens far faster and uninterrupted. More information on cables and cabling can be found in a chapter called Extras on this DVD.